Hello. Today I'm going to change the cabin air filter for a Hyundai Sonata 2014. Okay. First, you want to remove everything from your car compartment if you have the same models, which uh, I have already done just to uh, speed up the times. Okay. Now, looking at here. In the compartment, you can see that there's this knob here to the left, and there's another knob to the right, okay, which we have to remove to um, lower the car compartment, and then also we have to um, unlatch this little um, black ring here to lower the car compartment down even further. I will show you um, in a moment. Okay, first let's move the um, button from the, the left. Okay, the best way to do this is to low, uh, push up on the car compartment so it will uh, um, it move up. Okay, so now Now go counterclockwise, okay, to remove it. And then see, just pull it out. So, okay, you see the, the teeth on this, this little knob there. I hope you can see clearly. You see how this side has that shape compared to this other side. Okay, it has the same thing right on this hole. So when you put it back, just make sure this um, the, the teeth or the, the, the teeth on this uh, uh, knob fits exactly as how it is on the hose up there so it go in smoothly okay let me do the same for the other side okay go kind of clockwise okay now Okay, and I come out. See that? And if you look at the hole, you see the the teeth right there, and that one it fits perfectly right like that. Okay. So when you put it back in together, it'll be the same way. Okay. Now see how? Now for this, for other cars, the car compartment would just drop down. For this particular uh, Hyundai, they had this little support. Here to hold up the uh, the uh, compartment, so from from it to just accidentally fall down by itself. Okay, now just squeeze. Actually, just pull it out. Okay, basically it's a push lock. Okay, hold on, let's see. I can you see better? Okay, okay, there you go. Pull to come out. Push the lock. Okay, so pull, pull. Okay, and then now you can lower the compartment. Okay, now we can get to the cabin air filter. Okay, all right. Uh, hopefully you can see this clearly. Um, this is right here. This whole piece here. This is the cover of the cabin air filter okay and if you look right here to the to the uh, right see I hope you can see that there's a little there's a little latch there okay or that holds the, the the cover together so what you do is you squeeze this okay let me see if you can see that it's getting dark here, so you squeeze this piece together and then pull it out and then it comes loose. And you see the other side, it's like a you know, just a slot right there, just a slot to hold it together. See that? Okay, okay. Now, let me show you what I was talking about. It's this piece here, you squeeze them, okay, use your hand and your index fingers. 
your thumb and you, and you squeeze them and then you pull it out. Okay, basically you squeeze them and you pull it out and then and then lift it open and then pull it out. Okay, so that's a cover. Okay, basically that's how it is. There it is. Okay, that's a cover. Okay, now now you can see the filter. There's a there's a cabin air filter right here, see? Okay, this is a cabin air filter. So this is pretty nice design actually. Um looks like it's just slide in and slide out. The filter just slide in and slide out. So right now if you want to change them, just slide it out. You just grab onto the filter and just pull it out. See? Pull it out. And hold to the hold, hold on the edges because it's it's a firmer area. So slide all the way out. There's a filter. As you see that. Uh, it's kind of dirty. It's good good enough to change. I think it's quite dirty already. So let's see. Um, you see leaves and stuff on there. So probably that's the, the side that the air is flowing into. Okay. And you can look at the side here. You see that they have this arrow down, which is the air is flowing from the top down to the bottom. Okay. So when I replace the new air filter, I would want to put the arrow down, the airflow going downward. Same way, okay? See, that's the only one. And top is dirty and the bottom, you can see that the bottom is not really dirty. Okay? So that, this is the old one and it does look dirty. I will put it down on the ground. Okay? And I'm gonna show you the new one. Here's a new one. I'm going to be replacing it with I'm taking it out from the box. Okay, you see that? Look at that. Big difference, huh? That's been quite a while. You know, it's dirty. Now I have to change a new one. Um, okay, so Okay, there's a new one. Nice, beautiful. Clean. and there's the airflow okay so I want to go this way go in this way okay see that airflow down going in this way this is up and then just slide through okay so let's come back to the new one okay that is okay there you go here's a slot Okay, let me look where the slot is first. Alright, hopefully the camera can catch it. This slot, I'm going to put that through there. Okay. Okay, let me see if it goes in. Okay, there you go. Alright, okay. It's a little bit tighter then. Oh, then the old one. Hmm. Maybe the angle I put it in. I guess if I use two hand, it would go in a lot smoother. But I'm holding a camera, so okay. Let's let's redo that again. Let's make sure I align that correctly. Okay, now I guess you can uh, tell how this is. As you can slide in, I'm going to use both hands and put down the camera for a moment. Because I have a hard time putting it in, because I'm only using one side of my hand. Okay. Alright, let's try that again. I took the filter out and I saw that there's like a. Um, some kind of glue that was on the edge of the filter so it makes it harder to slide in so I took that off so now it should be able to slide in um, smoothly okay there it is let's go in let's push it off I mean even with one hand it should go in smooth um, smoothly there you go. all right it went in see that okay just make sure they line up evenly 
okay perfect now see that all right so when this is done I just put the cover back in the cover is gonna go there that little piece slot there okay My bad, wrong way. Okay, right there. And then squeeze it, go back in. Gotta squeeze the end there. Lock. See, now it's locked. So if I try to pull it out, the cover, I won't be able to pull it out. Okay. And the light just went off. There we go. See, I won't be able to pull it out. Okay. This is done. Now we reverse the process for the car compartment. Okay, I'm putting this back up. Get that car compartment door back up and push this piece in. See? Okay, now the door can be held up. Okay. Do the right side. Okay, look at the teeth. See the teeth there. Okay, that piece is back there. Okay, so right there. Oop, wrong way. It's supposed to be right there, the teeth. Okay, so I have to lift the up a little bit so I go in the hole there you go so now I can turn clockwise to lock it there you go. okay same thing with this side okay there you go the teeth pointy part is on the top okay right there now I have to lift the car compartment up further to get it in there you go turn okay it locks perfect that's it Close, and close, yep, okay, that's how you change the cabin air filter for the Hyundai Sonata 2014 and similar models. Alright, thank you for watching, I hope you learn uh, how to do this on your own um, as quickly and easily as possible. Thanks again, bye bye.